can hear you, the rest of the world hears you, and the people and the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. I always loved talking to Bob uh, back with, of course, the retired FDN firefighter who was there, maybe at the right place at the right time. You know, Bob is a modest guy. He did not want to be there uh, sharing the, the, the spotlight in the moment with President Bush. But President Bush wanted to make sure he was. That's iconic. And that image, of course, still stands 15 years later. Uh, Bob Beckwith with me right now. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you. It's good to see you, and I'm glad that uh, you're still with us. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate your prayers and good thoughts. Um, I always think of you back then. You didn't want to be there, did you? No, I mean, not no, there with I, the no, picture. No, not I, you were helping right. out, but it, you didn't it, want to be with the president. No, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that the president was coming. I had forgotten, and, and, but then when I found out, I was standing on a fire truck, right. which was a crushed truck that we had found in a rubble. And he came around, and the next thing I know, I'm pulling him up on the ridge. And <laughs> this is I, the president of the United States. Yeah, right. And I'm next, to, right next to him. He's only got a little spot there, but he, he looked. Uh, he said, uh, I, "Well, actually, I was told to to right. come down." Right, Pearl Road, right? Yeah, I was told to come down after I get this important person up. But you there. didn't know it was President I didn't Bush, know it was right? President. Yeah. Because right across the street was a command post with microphones. I figured that's where he's going to go. Yeah. And uh, he uh, just came around the corner, and he started to go for the microphones, but then he cut in front of me, and he put his arm up. I pulled him up. I said, you okay, Mr. President? And he says, yeah. I said, what did your family say? Yeah. I was like, hey. Yeah, what, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> no, no I, came, I came home that night. I drove home, and uh, I come into my block, and there's people coming out of their homes with candles. Get out. And I said, what's this about? And a friend of mine across the street says, Beck, you were on television. I said, get out of here. There were no cameras down there. And he said, no, really. I went inside. My granddaughter was watching television. And wow. she said, you're on television. Go figure. Yeah. God works in mysterious ways. That was such a galvanizing moment. And you and I were chatting during the break, Bob, how much we've forgotten. It's 15 years. Hard to believe. It is. But, you know, a lot of folks worry it could happen again. What do you think? God, it was a god-awful thing, and something we can never, in our time, could forget. But a lot of people have forgotten. A whole generation that hasn't been even, doesn't remember, doesn't, well, wasn't around. Yeah, they, they're kids. kids. They were kids, and they don't, yeah. they don't remember. But the people who, a lot of people come up, and they remember. I tell them, you know, that's... that's Do you funny. really? You make a point. My son is 15 years old today. Today. Oh, wow. And I always, you, you obviously explain what happened everything. Um... But it's history book stuff to them. Exactly. What do you say to grandkids and all that? Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be in the history. There's nobody here to tell us about the Alamo. Yeah. No, it's only what we read. And you were there for the Alamo, so you should. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that now uh, we're ready in case, God forbid, something like this were to happen again, or we're still fighting with each other, we're still divided? I, I'm... My my uh, my odds are on on homeland security. They seem to be we seem to be doing pretty good after yeah. 15 years because they're working hard. But uh, I don't know. You didn't have to be there that day. You wanted to be. I had to go down there that day. Well, of course, I had found that uh, Jimmy Boyle, who was the president right. of our union, and I was one of his delegates, and his son was missing, and that's why I went down that morning and uh, I had to find that kid. I didn't. You're an amazing man, and you represent a time that we're reminded of that. And he's also very modest, which I would not be. Uh, Bob Beck with retired FDNY firefighter, an historic and iconic image. And he's the reason. More after this.